Hello everybody, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're all well. In this episode, I thought we'll do a um, little exercise. And the exercise is, what does a mortgage broker do? Now I've put in, uh, on the screen, I'm going to put in the best, currently, as of yesterday, I have to say I was a bit lazy, I was supposed to do this yesterday, but I got too bogged down. As of yesterday, the lowest mortgage rate in the market. That's totally out of all the lenders that we have access to as well as the direct lenders some of the lenders that brokers don't have access to um, that only deal directly with uh, consumers um, so i've put that figure up on there and uh, so there's a there's a rate there and then there is the highest rate in the mortgage market okay currently as as what i can see so uh, have a look at this so you've got a um, pay rate of 1.75 which is a two-year discounted product. So it's not a fixed product, it's discounted of a uh, lender's uh, rate. Um, uh, but it's currently uh, at 1.75, it's got a 999 pounds fee, and it's at 80% loan to value, right? So, and then you've got a, another product at 12.64%, a five-year fix with 3,750, at 50% product so for you to take out this product you have to have 50% deposit to take the to have the pleasure of being given a rate of 12.64% okay now the entire product amount that I've searched in the market was 11,073 products so that was the total amount of products that I searched over so what a mortgage broker does is it looks at those products why systems, why criteria systems, why knowledge systems, uh, why sourcing systems, and tries to work out where you sit amongst that. Now, you may say, look, actually, I don't want a discounted product. I want a fixed rate product, which, to be honest with you, I would say certainly 99% of my, most of my products, they either want a two-year fix or a five-year fix, or maybe some want a tracker deal. Um, not that often discounted products. But just gives you a perspective of what the market is and, and what a mortgage broker does. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people have got a skewed impression of a mortgage uh, broker and just thinking, well, they only deal with, you know, Halifax, Santa, the nationwide. But there are lots of different circumstances. Now, there is a specific circumstance why you would go for a 12.64% product. Okay, so um, you've got to take these things into mind. Uh, there's certainly, you know, the average person will certainly not get anywhere near 1.75 right now in this market and certainly not anywhere near the 12.64. Uh, so, you know, this is what a mortgage broker can do. You know, it will source all of this, would work this all out. Now, you know, you've got to be questioning why somebody with 50% deposit would, you know, would pay that 12.64. But that product's there for a reason. If it wasn't there, if, 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 you know, if there was no demand, that product wouldn't be there. And there are certainly people, I'm seeing more and more people that have, you know, I've been quoting them quite high rates. Now that could be because they've had serious adverse credit. I'm not talking about the missed payment on your mobile phone. I'm talking about, you know, major problems in the past, whether it's bankruptcies, whether it's uh, IVAs and so forth, or it may be the property types you know, unfortunately, um, a lot of the some some properties, a lot of the lenders do not like to lend on. So you have to go outside the high street, and even outside the outside of the high street, and you know you're looking at the six and the sevens and the eight percent rates. Okay, and these are for residential mortgages. Okay, this is not a buy to let product. These are for people who want to either purchase a residential property or remortgage. So um, a good broker will have access to the whole of the market okay um, and then we'll be able to um, you know go through them uh, the maze of uh, researching the right product as long as you're open and honest uh, and they can try to make sure where you fit within that model but I thought it would be interesting it's an interesting fact there I just wonder where this this disparity is this disparity is going to be say in a year's time okay so we'll come back to this maybe in a year's time and see what the difference is between the two rates so hopefully you found this useful if you did like and subscribe but always let me know what you think about the UK uh, mortgage market obviously we were a bit of a funny market we were a very mature market in the mortgages um, but we are traditionally a two to five year fixed market you know when you go into the continent you certainly go into the US 
the fixed rates are actually a lot longer. People tend to take them for 15 years, 7 to 15 to 30 year fixes. Um, this is a little bit different, but this does give, this, it works both ways. You know, it gives opportunity for those people that are not in the best of circumstances to be able to upscale themselves. But, you know, it has got an issue because you're always coming up for a remortgage. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.